One of the things that I take from one of the ayats in, in the Quran, you know, if you, it says if you want something, you have to work hard for it, and the underlying thing, you have to believe in it. Right. Right. So you have to want it, and you have to want it badly, yeah. and then you have to work hard. And you have to believe it will succeed. succeed. Yeah. Belief is yeah. very important. You know, it's something inside you yeah. that tells you this is successful. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a Chinese yeah. proverb that mm. says that if you really enjoy the work you're doing, you know, mm. you don't have to work a day. So yeah. it's similarly in business, if you're passionate about your product, yes. if you really want to make it succeed, yes. if you want everybody to ride the same bike, That's right. Yes. Uh, if you have that mm -hmm. passion, you'd probably not be working hard. You'll be enjoying that yes. hard work, like I'm mm -hmm. sure right, Swell yes. does. No, Alhamdulillah, most entrepreneurs enjoy it, and it goes with passion and with having the uh, proper mm -hmm. niyyah, that you really want to do yes. something that is for the benefit of the customer. Yeah. If mm -hmm. you're just uh, you know, doing a business just to make money, like we discussed earlier, you, you won't get very far. Absolutely. Yes, and that, yeah. that, that whole notion on cu putting the customer first lies true in, um, in consulting, for instance, which mm -hmm. is my, my personal background. If you emphasize that yeah. and you listen to the customer and you really understand what they need, then you'll, you'll be successful as long as you deliver to those expectations. Well, let's take it to another point. Would you an advice, advice on a young person to go in the work, uh, work in the business world and get some business experience and life experience and then go ahead with his idea or just tell him go ahead and do what you think is right? I really think that if you have a lot of money, Go mm -hmm. and experiment with your Who own money. Who has a lot of money? <laughs> so huh? Go and experiment with your own money. Yes. Otherwise, yeah. go and experiment with somebody else's money. Yeah. Learn from somebody else. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, work with somebody. If you want to start up something, go in a similar business. Yes. Uh, identify what works, what mm -hmm. doesn't. And then set up your business plan before jumping in it. No, I, I would agree. Yeah. And I spent five years in the industry. Mm -hmm. in financial services before I decided to yeah. branch out because then you understand the dynamics of the industry. And one important thing is to, uh, to realize an idea doesn't have to be earth shattering. It could be a yes. small idea. Yes. You identify a gap, you identify yes. a problem that others yes. have and you have that solution. It's a yes. unique solution that you can provide. So it doesn't have to be that big. It's simple. Yes. You have to know uh, where does it solve and what does it solve, and you have to articulate it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to agree with you. It's not always about, if, if we're talking software, for instance, yeah. it's not always about the killer app. It's mm -hmm. not always about the next iPod. Yes. Um, small business, it's what essentially is running mm -hmm. the Canadian economy. So it can't be ignored. And a mm -hmm. series of smaller businesses which are focusing on a specific niche yeah. um, are is essentially what's helping the economy yeah. and Canadians in general. Definitely. Another thing that I want to point out is that uh, what happens is when a person starts off in business in a third world uh, country, chances are they're working alone and they have to yeah. o yes. uh, overcome the obstacle of fighting with the government and financial institutions and others. But here, people want you to succeed. So the government would try to get more taxes, try to mm -hmm. make you succeed, uh, uh, you know, because mm -hmm. you're contributing to the GDP. The banks want yeah. you to succeed because they can actually benefit from the business. I don't know how yeah. much the banks, banks <laughs> give yeah. their money to the sure <laughs> thing. <laughs> That's true. Right. You know, if you're in business, you understand the phrase that says, yeah. banks is an organization that lend you, uh, gives you an umbrella on a sunny day yeah, yeah, and takes it away in the rainy but day. You uh, really are, appreciate yeah. that expression. But there are bigger yeah. margins for the bank for businesses that are not doing very well so yeah they make a bigger spread yeah, they yeah. don't take a big risk <laughs> <laughs> that's why we need organizations well, like yours again if they had capital over you want to provide equal opportunity in you know uh, alhamdulillah we're very fortunate to be living in canada so and if we, we need money from the had capital what does yes. it take well, well it, it basically is, uh, you know, it takes an executive summary. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to understand uh, the product or yeah. the service that you want to deliver. Uh, and then we expand from there. Um, and we structure it in a very uh, equitable, profit sharing, a well, basis. What's the criteria? Are you any different than the banks? Uh, uh, do you take more risk than the banks? Uh, we're quite different from the bank. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one thing is we do not stress the quality of the credit rating mm -hmm. of the individual. Yeah. We're primarily concerned with the quality of the individual and the quality of the idea. Okay. So if you're a you know a person that we believe has integrity mm -hmm. and is passionate about this product and the product yes. makes sense, the mm -hmm. numbers add up, yeah. uh, we're there to support you. 
well, you should uh, cooperate uh, with their group. Uh, they teach the young entrepreneurs yeah. and then they send them to you to uh, get financing. some money. Yeah. Of course. Uh, obviously, one of the other issues is partners. Do you encourage people to do it by themselves or find partners to do it with? Or? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's very important to yeah. select the partner if you're going for a partner. I think initially, uh, if you have a lot of partners, you can develop a bigger business. Yeah. But unless they have similar thinking and they can work together, it will not s succeed. Too well, much. I would agree with you, similar thinking, but, uh, work together. But similar thinking, they have to uh, complement each other. Yes. Yes. One of them could be very good technically yeah. and one other one is a very good Absolutely. sales or a marketing yeah. guy. Yes. And that makes the best group. Yes. But if yes. they're just both technical or both marketing, I think you have to balance this. Yes, a partnership is actually very important, like mm -hmm. Zulfikar said. But the key thing is uh, you don't necessarily want to get similarities, but you mm -hmm. necessarily want to make sure that each partner's role is defined. Yes, absolutely. And uh, there's no misunderstandings because yeah. most partnerships fail when one party thinks that they are being taken advantage of. Yeah. And or and each one wants to be the president and, and yeah. run the and show. I, I <laughs> think one important thing that mm -hmm. we generally don't yeah. do as a community yeah. is not write things down on paper. Yeah, it's very important to put formal yeah. agreements in okay. place well, before you set up a partnership. Okay. Well, this is great. Yeah. We're running out of time. I think uh, I'd like to thank yeah. you all for this great discussion. And Thank maybe in the future we can discuss it again. Yes. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.